Good morning. Uh, not too many announcements. Uh, the altar flowers it didn't make the bulletin, but they're from um, Joe Kreider in memory of Harold Kreider. This week, the church office will be closed. I'll be on, <clears throat> on vacation. Uh, so if you need to call, call, you can call either the church or the cell phone. It rings over to my uh, cell phone, but uh, I will not be in town. I think those were all the announcements I had. Please stand. The angel said to the shepherds, Do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. As we gather, we hear again the good news the angels proclaim. God has come for all people through the birth of the one named Jesus. Through Bethlehem's manger, God comes into the chaos, messiness, and vulnerability of the world. And all things and at all times we rejoice that God comes to save us and reigns in love. We come to adore Jesus, who is Savior, Christ and Lord. Jesus, the bright morning star, shines like the light in the world. By day and night, he shines for all to see. Jesus was born in the midst of injustice and poverty. That the world may see the justice and richness of God. God so loved the world that God sent in Jesus. So that all who believe in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of our lives. Sing to God a new song. A song of hope, joy, and peace around the world. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Gracious God of heaven and earth, you have thrown a lifeline to us in our darkness, a beam of light that shines through Jesus. Though born in a manger, he is the firstborn of all creation. Though crucified on a cross, he is the Lord of life. 
Fill us with the wonder and joy of his presence in the world and in our hearts. Amen. A reading from Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 5, and verses 14 through 18. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. Micah chapter 5, verses 2 through 5. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, 
who are the one of the little clans of Judah. From you shall come forth for me, one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of the, his kindred shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. 
But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her.
Now the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in this way. When his mother, Mary, had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sin. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son, and he named him Jesus. A lesson from Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. 
The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at, his, at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, 
they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was light, and the life that was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. <clears throat> he was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or the will of the flesh or the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth.
Please stand. Let us pray. It is you, loving God, who lights our path with truth. Your word, Jesus, is truth. In his light, draw all to the manger. Together we wonder with the shepherds. In his light, draw all to the manger. To kneel in reverence with the wise ones. In his light, draw all to the manger. To sing for joy with the angels. In the brightness of his life. Cast away the darkness of injustice, poverty, and hunger in the world. It is you, loving God, who meets us on our way. In the light of Jesus, show the world the way of life. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. <coughs> Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Praise God for whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. You are the shepherds telling the story. We tell it in the streets and across the land. You are the wise ones worshiping with thanksgiving. We worship with gifts of song and service, talents and treasures. You are the angels announcing peace. We live with joy and go now in peace. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen.